Alafia family, this is Iadami. I pray that all is well with you. I greet you in love and light and all the positive vibrations that I can send your way. Uh, I pray that you are in a positive mindset, uh, the positive physical being, mental being, spiritual being, and that all things are well, right? I share. So as many of us know, this is the day that marks our new fall equinox of 2022. Uh, summer is no more. It has definitely ended. It's official. And now we go into the new season. So most definitely when we go into this new season intentional. We want to set intentions of gratitude. We want to be thankful and grateful for life, for breath, for an opportunity to be with family, with loved ones, for an opportunity to uh, even work at accomplishing some more goals, setting new goals, things of that nature. So we want to give thanks um, as the harvest time most definitely is the time for giving thanks and being grateful um, for the harvest. The harvest time also brings to us uh, the opportunity opportunity not just to be grateful but to also uh, reassess some things within ourselves. It's a time where we should go within. It's a time where we should be more contemplative, more pensive, more uh, internal uh, with our intentions um, just to be able to reassess where we are and where we want to go to understand what serves us, what no longer serves us, um, to understand what can continue to stand, what can no longer continue to stand. This is the time uh, that um, the fall equinox or the energy uh, that the fall equinox brings us during this time. Uh, most definitely as the harvest speaks of our harvest, right? But not everything in the harvest um, and that's cultivated within the harvest actually came to full flourishment. Not everything made it through the full season. Some things were ate away by some pests. Some things were we weren't able to totally complete and finish. Uh, some things that we learned in the midst of it, oh, that's not going to work, right? So even though it's a time of harvest and a gathering, it's also a time to reassess what didn't work well so that when the new season comes, we can apply new strategies of how um, we can uh, better um, accommodate ourselves, better uh, be productive, better be um, be be more um, stable, consistent, things of that nature, right? All of these things we have to consider, right? So during this time, uh, we, of course, again, we want to be in gratitude and uh, give the universe all the gratitude and understanding that as we give gratitude, we show the universe that we are open and ready for more. And then we also want to be good stewards of the things that we ask for to actually make room for the new things to come through. So we have to let go. We have to release. We have to move out the things that no longer serve us so that new things that can now begin to serve us can come in. We got to make space, right? So we want to go with the winds of change and not against the ones of change. We want to actually invite the spirit of change into our lives. We want to actually invite the spirit of Oya and her transformative power into our lives in order to transform our lives to the better and not to the bitter. I share. So some of the things that we do outside of Certain things like fire rituals, different things like that, meditation, things of that nature. We also want to seek some divination. We want to seek the divine. We want to get some guidance, some spiritual guidance into knowing what will this new energy uh, meet me with. And not only what will it meet me with, but what do I need to do and assess within myself so that when this new energy meets me, I will be in alignment with the blessings of this new energy. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So today we're going to do something that we haven't done in a long time. We're going to cast OB. We're going to cast the shells and just see what the shells have to offer us and what this energy comes to bring us for this new fall equinox. So if it resonates with you, most definitely kudos, thumbs up, like, share. It may resonate with another. Ashe, Ashe. <laughs> Place yourself on mute. Ashe, I'm just joking with y'all. You want to uh, set your sacred space. Place all distractions on me, most definitely. So, of course, we begin. Akimaran, Akimaran, Akimaran. May the divine in heaven assist me, the diviner here on earth. I say, I share, I share, I share. We're going to call upon the spirit of destiny. Call upon you. Please come for What is the energy that speaks for us here within the open room? Follow us within the open room. All of us going into this new energy of this fall equinox 
leaving 2022 going into 2023 what is the energy the primary focus that we should focus our energy upon during this time that will lead us towards our blessings that will lead us towards our array that will lead us towards our positive establishments and our support from our ancestors spirit guides and our own destiny all right so we see the cast right perfect if we were looking at this cast and again in the way that i teach i break things down um, bit by bit and then we look at the whole scope of things um, because there's many ways of how we can interpret the obi so um, from your angle you guys understand that i'm sitting opposite towards the way that you are looking however we have these these kari shells here that sit here when i'm looking at this i would say that this is an energy that can most definitely bring in some aspects of conflict it can bring in some aspects of um distraction it can bring in some as aspects of challenge rather um however uh it's really within our own selves to understand that uh, the challenges that are here are here to build wisdom are here to build build character and are here to build confidence within us one thing we must understand in all times is that we must have confidence confidence in our spirit guides confidence in our own destiny and understanding that our own destiny did not choose for us to be desolate our own destiny did not choose for us to be in the struggle or poverty stricken life right so we have to trust those processes within that we can't allow ourselves to become frustrated we can't allow ourselves to become angry we can't allow ourselves to lose our patience within that that causes us to lose the good things of good health and good sound mind and things of that nature so uh stress and anxiety that um, affects our health or the uh, diseases within life or the uncomfortable spaces within life that we um, uh, can't find our way to be pliable and adapt ourselves within how they can cause disease or how they can cause sickness and stress to come into our lives right within these matters of certain blockages right things that we're, we're working on we're searching for we need it for this to work we need it for that to work um, most definitely it's it's outside of the home at the same time it's an energy that says that there are some blockages there are some blockages that that um, are, are here but at the same time these blockages are actually your blessings of patience right if we're able to be patient we're going to have structure and stability if we're able to be patient we're going to have progress and forward motion if we're not able to be patient we're going to lose our blessings to frustration and we will be the ones who will kick over our own good things through negative thinking through negative speaking and things of that nature the self-hexing and things of that nature right so we want to be positive with our with, with our thought processes we want to keep our thought processes within um, a positive outlook no matter what it looks like on the outside internally we have to assess and we have to see things uh well we'll be triumphant we'll be victorious it's in the midst of it that can cause frustration it's in the midst of it that can cause anxiety it's in the midst of it that can cause worry but we will be victorious it also tells us that we must most definitely have to keep our ancestors first we have to propitiate our ancestors well we have to give offerings and, and reverence to our ancestors as we give reverence and offerings to our ancestors, we gain their support more, right? There is an oracle that tells us of a person who's expecting a gift, but they will receive nothing. Uh, specifically, this gift that they're expecting, they're expecting from their ancestors, and they will receive nothing. Why? Because they have not done the things that they have been told to do by their ancestors. So we have to assess the internal sacrifice, the aspect of internal sacrifice, not just the external sacrifice, what I gotta do to get the things that I want. Um, uh, physically, what, the, what I have to do physically to get the things that I want. But what do I have to do internally to get the things that I want? I have to bring bring in the spirit of patience into my life. Patience is not cultivated by times of peace. Patience is cultivated by times of chaos. So how can I cultivate chaos or bring or bring, how can I cultivate peace into chaos? How can I bring peace into chaos? This is what spirit is telling us most definitely at this time. We will see the light at the end of the tunnel. Trust our processes, understanding that as we trust our processes, um, we have to trust our process in a way that we don't judge the outcome. We can't say, okay, spirit, I need you to work in X, Y, Z, but if you work in ABC, I can't see my blessings. 
we have to understand how spirit moves and how spirit moves and sometimes it's through ebbs and flows it's through ebbs and flows it's through ups and downs it's through the yings and the yangs it's through the opposites so just as we receive good we're going to receive some things that are not so good however they're all for the good there's no such thing as good and bad it's only how you see it right there's no such thing as um or even even right and wrong it's only how you see it so what spirit says to us here at this time um many things about confidence and then also in in the in the long run of saying that we must most definitely have to uh, propitiate our ancestors during this time to add to our confidence and to, to understand that we're not doing this thing on our own um universally everyone is experiencing hard times universally everyone is experiencing setbacks drawbacks frustrations things of that nature and universally we are all having to learn how to exude patience moderation peace within things of that nature okay so in moving forward and going into this next uh year of 2023 the things or the energy that is present for us now and that uh presents to us now and that we must uh um take take heed to now is most definitely we don't want to fight we don't want to be uh in any conflict with anyone uh conflicts that come our way we want to be removed from them right we want to be detached from those things we don't want to get caught up in the naysay and in the drama that people want to bring our ways and then we also don't want to be the ones that generating this drama and this naysay right because of the blockages that we are that that we have um from trying to move us forward we don't want to allow frustration to set in and now we're our own biggest problem we're our own big, biggest critic we're our own biggest issue because we can't get out of the way with our own negative thinking there is another aspect uh within a tradition that we know as eyeleni eyeleni is the self created deity it is the one that uh there is no sacrifice to make there is no elbow to do the only thing to do is to change the way that one thinks and this is primarily what uh the spirit is telling us right now with all the changes with all the shifts and with all the different things that are happening we have to maintain our positive outlook we have to maintain um our our trust in knowing that we're not here just to do this thing for ourselves but our destiny is bigger than us our destiny is bigger than than our current circumstances our destiny is bigger than even the people and the influences that are around us so we have to remember that and when we remember that we don't judge the outcome however spirit brings our blessings we accept it however spirit brings our challenges we accept it right and we get through it so in moving forward again no fighting no quarreling uh don't even be the one to fight against yourself with negative self talk or negative thinking right we have to think well we have to speak well and then we're able to manifest the good and well things in life but it works within that order right and then we also have to uh not be not be blinded by any uh delays and blockages and thinking that that's just the way it's going to be no it's going to be a very blessed year that's going to bring us structure stability and good things but in many ways during this time spirit is saying that we got to get out of our own way i say i pray that this resonates with you well if you want to learn more about ob you want to learn more about this divination process please follow the links in the bio i say